So I have a chart which says the Dharma traditions, they get digested via spirituality into Western universalism. So now what do I do about it? So what I do about it is I, I, invest, I research what is non-digestible. What is there, what is there in the source tradition which is a necessary part without which it won't work, without which you can be spiritual up to a point, but you cannot, it won't, you won't be able to go beyond a certain point, such that this element, if you remove it, then you have an imperfect, incomplete solution, and you can only go so far. But if you don't remove it, it's going to be very hard to digest it, okay? So that, what, that, what that encounter, the encounter between a tiger and something very delicious that he wants, but it is not digestible, is a very interesting tension point. It, it really cause, it, that can cause transformation. So in this book I identify several major differences between the Dharma traditions and Western universalism. And the Western universalism consists of both the Judeo-Christian religious side and also the Enlightenment movement. I have a lot to say about Hegel and all these guys I've written in this book. Uh, and so the purpose of identifying these differences is to say that next time somebody is sincere and genuine about going into the journey that people went into in the 60s, do not compromise these particular uh, elements of difference. Keep, take them along, make them part of, don't leave them behind. And the reason these these uh, non-digestibles have been taken out and left behind is because, they, because they're non-digestible. So what does that mean? It means that the host is not really looking for a transformation. The host is not looking to really surrender, sacrifice, give up, or compromise anything. Says, I will be the tiger I am and what I can get out of you is what I want. But don't, don't expect that I, I should become like the gentle deer. You see a lot of people give me an argument that says, what's wrong with being digested? In fact, all of Indian people are very happy being digested because they think that it validates them. Because if a Westerner comes and says, I, I like what you're doing and I would like to have part of it, uh, then the person, because of the colonization, there's a complex. So the person feels very happy that, gee, wow, everybody's interested, it must be good. So finally, you know, all these things that I've rejected about my own past, I should uh, not reject because other, others are liking it.